In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Social Security and a $1,255 monthly benefit check for everyone and what they're now saying about this. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now, as we all recognize, there are a lot of people out there right now talking about major changes to Social Security, including lawmakers, economists, financial experts, advocacy groups, and the list goes on and on. A lot of people are talking about any changes to Social Security, and as you've heard me talk about many times before in other videos, there's a ton of proposals, ideas, programs, all kinds of concepts, all things like this out there to change the program. And everybody has their own great idea of what they want to do to the program and how it would actually make it better for beneficiaries and the longevity of this program for many more decades into the future. Well, in this video right here, I do want to talk about $1,255 ongoing monthly benefit checks for all beneficiaries, what they're saying about this and how this number does continue to increase each and every year and what this would actually mean for the program as well as beneficiaries as a whole going forward. So let's get into it and talk through the details. It's actually a pretty interesting concept. And again, I want to break it all down for you here in this video. So let's jump right into it. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video? It is totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day. I'm doing all the research, watching the headlines, advocating on your behalf and doing whatever I can to answer your questions and keep you updated on these very important programs as well as anything popping up right now you can possibly grab or take advantage of as a low income or fixed income beneficiary a lot of things are happening it's a very busy time right now a lot of things are changing and again we continue to hear on a very regular basis these lawmakers coming out saying oh we got to do this we've got to do that we've got to change benefits all these things like this and we know this much as well the program will be changing at some point it will the problem is we don't know what those changes are going to be exactly quite yet so that's kind of the scary part right Anyway, while well, I'm watching it all closely for you and bringing it to your attention in these videos. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day. I have been for years and years and years. And uh, feel free to go back and check my track record if you don't believe me. Uh, again, I have thousands of videos here on the channel. And again, here every single day. So again, thank you so much. Let's get into it and talk about a potential $1,255 monthly benefit check, what this means and what they're saying about this. And again, I don't know. I'd love to hear your comments down below in the comment section. Do you like this? Do you think this would be good or do you think this would be a bad, bad, bad idea. Now, let me explain really quickly. So if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, you probably heard me talk about programs like UBI, Universal Basic Income, GBI, Guaranteed Basic Income, or just simply Basic Income, right? Now, there's a variety of those other iterations like this, but essentially ongoing monthly checks uh, in a very specific amount of money for a very specified group of people, okay? Now, Social Security is not like this because here's the thing. Yes, Social Security checks do go out to about 70 million beneficiaries every single month. Now, the dollar amounts are different, right? Virtually, beneficiaries get a different dollar amount. Now, based on the scale of beneficiaries, yes, there are a percentage of people that get the exact same dollar amount every single month just because statistically, that's how it has to happen, right? So anyway, my point is not everybody gets the same benefit amount. However, there is this talk out there, but again, the whole idea behind this is because of Social Security insolvency. Now, remember, why would they want to change it? Why do they want to implement potential changes to Social Security? Because there's insolvency coming, right? We know this is still out about nine years or so, give or take a little bit, but it's still out there about nine years away, okay? But they're talking about what can we do now to make sure that we don't have to deal with this insolvency? What can we do to make sure that this program remains solvent and continues on for many more decades and generations into the future, right? That's what their main concern is. So that's why they're talking about all this. It's not because just one day they woke up and they're like, hey, let's change Social Security, right? No, it's not because of that. It's because that they know the program has major financial issues and they're trying to figure it out so that they can make sure that this program remains um, in you know good standing for many more years and decades into the future as well as uh, sending out those promised benefits at the levels that they should be rather than having a huge cut coming into benefits because of insolvency. Does that kind of make sense? So that is why all of these proposals, ideas, concepts, plans, all kinds of things like this are being popped up, okay? That's the whole idea behind this, okay? Anyway, now with that being said, let me share with you the idea behind this and the, where this $1,255 monthly check uh, comes from and what they're saying about this. Now, remember, benefits are uh, basically administered by Social Security. 
There's money in the trust fund, about $2.8 trillion as of right now, still sitting in the trust fund. And money's coming into the program every single month because of Social Security payroll taxes, right? From the people, you know, taking out a paycheck, stuff like that. And that's how they get their money and they push it out to the beneficiaries. However, because beneficiaries are getting a huge, huge, um, basically range of benefits, right? The minimum benefit this year for 2024, by the way, is a little over $50. That's the minimum benefit, a little over $50. And the maximum is just under $4,900. So again, you see a huge, huge range there in benefits and everybody's getting benefits somewhere within that range between 50 and basically 4,900. Actually, it's a little bit less than that, but you kind of get my point there, okay? So that's what it comes down to. However, as a result of this 1255, so what they're doing is they're using the federal poverty line. Now, maybe you heard me talk about this before in other videos, but right now in 2024, as I film this video, the federal poverty line is $15,060 for the entire year. Now, remember, federal poverty line does continue to increase every single year. Last year, it was 14580 This year, it's 15060 So what is that? An increase of what, $480 for the year? It's not much, right? It goes up a little bit. It was 3.29% is how much it went up from last year to this year. It's not a ton, right? Um, but anyway, it does continue to increase. But there's people out there that are talking about, hey, why don't we flatten this program out, okay? Now, here's the problem. Because of these benefits being very low for some beneficiaries and very high for some beneficiaries, unfortunately, there are some beneficiaries that are living well below the federal poverty line because of these benefits that they're relying on for the, uh, the bulk of their income on a monthly basis and an annualized basis as well. In fact, you've heard me talk about the statistics before in other videos, right? There's a huge percentage of Social Security beneficiaries that rely on their monthly benefit for all or the majority of their income every single month, right? So that's a bad situation, especially if their income is below the federal poverty line. So the, the talk about this and the logic behind this is, why don't we make this a, a poverty level program? Uh, okay, so let me explain what this means now, okay? Basically what they wanna do is say, everybody below the federal poverty line, again, $1,255 a month, $1,255 a month is what the federal poverty line is on a monthly basis. Again, $1,560 divided by 12 is $1,255 a month is what that comes out to be, okay? So basically what they're saying is anybody below the federal poverty line should be lifted up to the federal poverty line. Now, there's a couple of different iterations of how they want to do this. Number one would be make it a poverty level program. In other words, every beneficiary gets at least a poverty level benefit, the $1,255 a month right now for 2024. Obviously, that's going to change for next year, 2025, and every year beyond that, right? And then obviously, there could be benefits above and beyond the the you know the minimum floor of the benefit here, the $1,255. Now, that's one iteration. Now, the other iteration is, why don't we just make this a poverty level program being, let's flatten out benefits for all beneficiaries out to the $1,255 a month for everybody. Okay, so this would mean lifting benefits for some beneficiaries up to at least the federal poverty line. And this would also mean reducing benefits significantly for some other beneficiaries who are getting well above $1,255 a month in their monthly benefit. Does that kind of make sense, right? So a couple different iterations here. I don't know. In my honest opinion, I like the first of the two iterations being make it at least a federal poverty line um, benefit, being at least everybody gets a federal poverty line or better benefit. But shaving down benefits and taking benefits down for higher income beneficiaries above $1,255 a month and bringing everybody to the same, basically, you know, $1,255 or the federal poverty line, whatever that happens to be every single month, I don't think that would fly. In my honest opinion, I don't think that's a great approach. I don't think a lot of people would be very happy about that, especially if somebody's getting, say, $2,000, $2,500, $3,000 a month, something like this, and they were to take their benefit down to the federal poverty line. I don't think that would be a very good situation, right, for a lot of people. However, for the higher income people and people getting well over the federal poverty line, if they only raise benefits up to the federal poverty line for the lower income beneficiaries who are below it, again, it would basically be a really good thing for the lower income beneficiaries. It'd raise their benefits up and then, you know, it wouldn't really impact or uh, interfere with the higher income beneficiaries who, again, probably don't want their benefits shaved down or taken away or reduced in any way, shape, or form. Now, there's actually another iteration of this as well, and this is actually within a different proposal as well, which is to take down higher income beneficiaries by a little percentage point each and every year and take that uh, money that they're taking from higher income beneficiaries and moving it over to lower income beneficiaries to kind of fill the, ga the gap here. Does that kind of make sense? So there's actually really like three different iterations of this, but um, that's kind of what they're talking about here. Okay. So now if they were to do something like this, would this take place right now or at some point? Now, again, honestly, this would take a long time to implement. It's not like it's something that I'll flip a switch one day and be like, tomorrow your benefits are going up this much. No, it does not work that way. Okay. 
It would take quite a, uh, quite a long time to implement these changes into the program, but this is something that's being talked about because again, remember, um, what is it, like 22.7 million people are being lifted out of poverty every single year because of Social Security. That's a massive amount of people, right? So if they were to make any major change to this program and those 22.7 million people um, were not lifted out of poverty, that'd be a major, major problem. Now remember this much as well. There's millions of people every single year that are staying in poverty because of Social Security as well. So again, this would be a major, major change of the program. And not only that, it would um, raise benefits for a lot of beneficiaries and it'd be very, very influential. It basically makes sure that nobody receiving Social Security is living in poverty is what this would essentially do. Do you think that'd be a win for the program and um, politicians alike. Uh, yeah, right? That'd be a huge, huge win in a major, major way. It would simply mean that millions of people are, you know, no longer living in poverty. It would lift benefits significantly for millions of beneficiaries. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it'd be a huge win for the program, right? Even if higher income beneficiaries had to reduce their benefit by, you know, a few percentage points, just to make sure that lower income people were actually lifted to at least the federal poverty line, no less than, I don't know. Seems like a pretty good approach, right? So again, this is something that they would have to talk about. But again, I I don't know. I kind of like this approach. It, In my honest opinion, I feel like this is something that would actually work. And then you know that anybody receiving Social Security is at least getting a federal poverty line benefit or better, right? Because here's the thing. How many of you, again, don't tell me your personal situation. I'm just simply saying just, you know, just answer this question in your own mind, okay? Don't like leave a comment down below and say, I get this much. It's not my business, okay? I don't want to know how much you're getting. But my point is, how many people out there right now are receiving less than $1,255 a month in their monthly benefit? I'm going to guess a lot. The reason I know that, I see the comments down below, okay? Even just raising benefits up to this level for a lot of people would be life-changing in a major way. This would be hundreds of dollars more for the beneficiaries. So again, not such a bad approach. Everybody essentially wins with this approach. But that's just my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion. Who cares? My opinion doesn't matter whatsoever. I'm just simply saying this one actually does seem pretty good. So again, I want to bring this to your attention really quickly. What is being talked about? What is being said? One of the many, many proposals that is out there right now and um, what could be done about this? So again, not a bad approach. It would lift a benefit for beneficiaries. And then remember as well, these benefits would also be adjusted every year to adjust for the adjustment of the federal poverty line. Make sense? So yeah, again, not a bad approach, right? So anyway, hope this helps you. But again, I just want to break this down for you really quickly, what I'm seeing out there, what they're talking about, and what is being discussed or the ideas and concepts that are floating around. And this just happens to be another one of them that we see all the time that is out there. So Again, there's tons of them that are out there. I can talk about them before in other videos and um, keep bringing them to your attention as I find more. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. As always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, make sure to stick that down below in the comment section. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe down below. Again, thank you so much for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Big subscribe button right down below the video. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet. Otherwise, right next to the subscribe button is a share button. Make sure to share this video with your friends on social media. And then again, make sure to check out the videos down below in the description or the top of the comment section that I've hand selected for you or go back and check out the thousands in the video library and um, that's about it otherwise right now on your screen you'll see some videos popping up as well make sure to check out one of those videos right now so make your selection and until next time have a nice day take care uh, check out the next video right now on your screen and um, I'll see you again later in the next one all right